Hello guys, it's been a long time since we've done a vlog like this, but yeah. we're back. Yeah, it's been a long time since the tech duo has been on the channel, and for the longest time, the past five months, we've been getting tons of comments saying, where is Josh, where is Josh? He kind of like completely disappeared from the channel and you guys were worried, so you want to kind of tell them where you were? Yeah, so basically, uh, as you know, I moved from the UK to the US to be with Nene mm -hmm. last year, and we have to go through what's known as the green card process, which is basically where you have to go through. It takes like 12 to 18 months, yep. but one of the parts of the green card process means that I can't work until I have a work visa. So that's what I've been waiting on. It just came through last week, so. Yeah, so uh, I had to run the channel for the last five months in order for us to make an income. So it wasn't that I just decided to take over the channel and kind of just get Josh off the channel. Uh, there was a legal reason why he couldn't be here. But now that he is here, we can pick up where we left off months ago and do our tech duo stuff. We have lots of videos coming up. We do. We have, uh, we thought we'd just do a vlog to get today, I guess, to update you on what we've got planned. We just moved. Oh well. yes, we moved. Yeah. So we just posted our setup tour and it's doing very well. It's at like almost 600K views on YouTube. Wasn't expecting it to get there. It might hit a million in the next couple of weeks. Should we show <laughs> them the time-lapse of uh, taking it down? Oh my God. You can see a little snippet of us taking down the setup. It's so bad. Heartbreaking. It's so sad. Um, but yeah, we moved. Uh, we moved from Florida to uh, North Carolina up here in the Smoky Mountains. We absolutely love it. And sadly, we had to take down our office and our setup. But if you watched that video, we specifically said in that video that we wanted to separate our uh, gaming setups from our YouTube studio because it was really hard to work in just one room. And it didn't even feel kind of like a game room because every time you walked in there, it just felt like work. Yeah, we basically had to, every time was filming, we'd get like lights out and stuff yeah. and then we'd have the decision of shall we put this away and like have it tidy so we can game in there or just leave it in there yeah. and most of the time we ended up leaving all the lights up we did, so it so. looked pretty messy most of very the time. messy so yeah. we're currently in our temporary apartment we'll be here for the next three months because we're currently waiting on our new place to be finished built and then we'll move into there and set up like official studio but we wanted to show you guys around our little i guess uh pop-up studio that we put together for the temporary place honestly it looks pretty similar it to the other look, place it looks pretty good well, I, we we actually did it very fast it we did us, it in like two nights two I nights think. so yeah. uh, why don't we grab the camera and we'll show you guys around yes yeah, so Let's do that. Okay, so this right behind me is the new space. Let me show you. So size-wise, it's actually slightly smaller than the previous room we were in, but like Nene said, we're just using this as a studio this time around, so it doesn't have gaming setups in. There was a little bit of a desk setup over there, but um, I'll show you that in a minute. So yeah, this is what we're working with. I think it's around 11 foot by 11 foot. We've kind of copied over most of the stuff from the previous setup. So you'll see we've got like the uh, 3D panels, We've got the shelving units. We've got the best of cabinets from Ikea, along with the hyper cubes. And of course the tool station is still here as well. So we did extend this table because uh, this table was actually smaller than this before. It didn't come out as far, which kind of made it difficult for us to do like vlogs together because there wasn't enough space really. And it's also deeper as well. So when we're doing unboxings of big products, it's just a lot more practical. We've got our mic up here. Now audio, we have to actually fix because unlike the new place that we're moving into, which has carpet, this is hardwood floor. So we had to do something about that. As you can hear right now, it's pretty echoey still. We did put down some carpet tiles, which have helped things a little bit. We actually put a blanket up there for when we're doing like reviews and stuff, just cause it sounds so much better. But yeah, other than that, the space is working pretty good so far. We're only gonna be here for like three months, which is what, 12 weeks? So we kind of did what we could because obviously this is where we work. So needed it to look good, but at the same time, not be too much effort to do, which it wasn't. This whole thing right here only took about two evenings for us to set up. Now, a lot of you might be wondering, well, if you're only gonna be here for three months, why did you put like a bunch of holes in the wall? We actually barely didn't. In fact, this whole setup only has about, I think six holes in the wall and they're like really small ones because we went into the studs. So if I show you above the shelf, you can see we've got basically some pieces of wood and they run from this, so they're screwed into this. And then in the corner, we basically just put a little beam and then these shelves rest on top of it. So. Yeah, I mean, it was super easy to do. Now over on the other side of the room, we have our paper backdrop. So we basically just mounted that up there like that. 
And whenever we wanna use it, we just come over here, pull this down, and then we have a lovely backdrop and we can still get out of the door as well. It was a bit of a tight fit. This thing is brand new. We just picked this up the other day. We were in Lowe's just picking up some uh, supplies for the office and we saw this cobalt like tool station thing. We already have one over in the corner there, but yeah, this one's a little bit smaller. We thought it'd be great for like building PCs on. So we got our PC case here. Nene is actually gonna show you what we're gonna do to this build in a few minutes. So make sure you watch till the end of the video, but yeah, it's really good. It's got a bit of storage, so we can put our camera stuff in here, which is handy. And it also has wheels, so we can move it like into the middle of the room. Now, the other cool thing about this desk is that it can be moved up and down and we can actually just move it. So sometimes when we're doing PCB roll, we'll move this across to there with the backdrop. So yeah, it's a very functional room, even though it's like fairly small. And then behind me, we have the little setup that we've got. This is more so just for decoration, honestly, at the moment, or when, again, when we're filming like B-roll and stuff. So we got a brand new chair here from Herman Miller, just came through the other day. Gotta try it out more, but so far, like, it's freaking awesome. This is the new wallpaper that we've been putting on the desks. So it's a slightly lighter color than the concrete wallpaper we had before. I actually prefer it, it's more concrete texture. I also had a go at soldering the LEDs this time around. So if you have a look up here, the wires basically just go around there and then they start again up here. Yeah, it's been like ages since I've done soldering, but it turned out pretty good. And the control boxes are actually in here, so. Let me show you. So you've got your control boxes here and you just basically turn them up and down and uh, they're ridiculously bright. They're a lot brighter than the ones that we had before. So really good for making videos because you've got like loads of light. Let me grab Nene and we'll show you what we're doing to this new case. So this is going to be one of our next PC builds. Now this is a case from Antec. It is called the Canon case. Now I have been waiting to do the PC build in this case for months. We finally got our parts in because they were delayed, but this is going to be a neon green theme. So we got neon liquid, we got neon fittings to match, we got cables that are neon. And then we also picked up some neon green wallpaper that we're going to put and cover on the front of the case. Now, the front of this case is really cool. You have a lot of options when it comes to uh, mounting parts on the front. You can either do fans, radiators, or in our case, we are going to be doing this distro plate from EKA that we picked up. And we also have a matching water block for our GPU that we're going to be using. I believe we're using the 3090, right? In this. Yeah, it's going to be the 3090 that we're going to uh, put the water block on. And then we also picked up this MSI motherboard that came with a EK uh, water block for the CPU as well. So it's gonna be a really cool build. I'm super excited to get it done. We're gonna be doing this build probably in the next couple of weeks. We have another PC build that we're going to do before this is for uh, Leon Lee. That's another water cooled build that you will see as well but this one should be coming up in the next two to three weeks, I would say. So I think that's about it for today's video. It was just like a little life update slash vlog and tour of the new studio. Is there anything you wanted to say to them before we go? We have lots more of this type of content coming up. So we know a lot of people like when we do vlogs and stuff mm -hmm. like this. And now that I can be back on the channel Yay. again, we can start doing it. In fact, we have a massive list of like it's video long. ideas yeah. where we got like build challenges, yep. lots yep. of stuff to do. This a show. lot more creative stuff. So we're yeah. still gonna do like uh, reviews of cases and PC builds, but we kind of just want to bring our own creativity to the channel, you know, kind of separate us from other channels so that when people come and watch a Tesseract video, they know they're watching a Tesseract video. So uh, those videos should be coming up. 2023 is gonna be a good year for this. It's gonna channel. be a good year. Anyways, drop a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and we'll catch you guys very soon. Bye.